I just um, wanted to add um, a couple of things, um, especially against uh, for the match against Spain. Um, I said the, I said after the match that it has been clearly a disaster. Um, of course, the players haven't shown anything during this match, but as I said, uh, the responsibility is to me because I'm the one who decided to get back to a, to a back four and not to a back three uh, in the defense like we were doing since two years. I thought maybe it was the time for a little change uh, because you can't always play with the same structure. You also need to have also a plan B, a plan C, uh, and that's what we tried against Spain. But um, of course, the one who does decide for it, it's me. So I'm the one who was responsible for the for the for the for the bad uh, performance, and I, I don't have any. Um, I'm not afraid to say that it was my fault. Um, in life, you should never say. You should never be afraid to say you made a mistake. And clearly, I made a mistake, thinking maybe we could be a bit more mature. Maybe we could be. We could play a different kind of football, maybe, and I've clearly this match showed me that it was too early, uh, too early to change certain things. And um, our good match in uh, Norway uh, showed me that we are feeling much more comfortable when we play uh, with three centre backs at the moment. Maybe in the future it will change, but I think clearly now um, it's too early to change for for the structure of the team. You take a lot of things in consideration. Um, first of all, of course, it's the performance. Um, um, you know, when, when um, to, just to give you some random examples, um, um, for example, Zilzi Vadze um, doesn't play a lot with, uh, with uh, Karl Schruhe in Germany, and um, we all find that um, pretty bad because uh, we need players to play more uh, with their clubs. But every time Bodu is coming with us in the last two years, every time he has been playing good, he had the right uh, mentality, was working hard, he did score quite a lot of goals. So that's why Bodu, even if he's not playing all the time with Karl Schroo, he is often with us because he does deserve it. And then sometimes, you know, because performance are not good, you also have, for me, when the player is playing bad, you know, if you're in a club, you know, it's something different because you've got every week you've got a match or every four days you've got a match. In the national team, it's something a bit different. But for example, uh, some of the examples, like, for example, at Borjania, like Gocholeshvili, uh, for me, their last three, four, five match, three, four match with us were not good. And for me, it's also a way that I have to show them, you know, you haven't been performing good. So this time, you're not here, but it doesn't mean next time you won't come back. You know, it's a, you know, you can't, you, you can't ask for performance all the time to be good, to win match, to qualify for anything. And if players don't perform, they always come. You know, there's no, um, we have to be logic. You know, it's, um, but it, as I said, um, and I did show it with a lot of players. Kwekwaskiri uh, at some point didn't come, but then came back. Uh, Shengelia at some point wasn't coming anymore, then he's back uh, now. Um, you know, it's, uh, I never close the door. I never close the door. But for sure, if you perform, you will always come, or you will always have a chance uh, to show it. As I said, uh, Gocho, um, he came to us already uh, for the first time last year, I think, if I'm not mistaken, against Morocco yeah, in November. So he came in November, he came in March, he came in June, he came in September. Um, so it means I trust him. I trust him. But we are playing, a national team is playing on the international level. It's not just about trust, it's also about performance. Against Spain and against Norway, he was defensively, we, against Spain, seven goals, against Norway, two goals. He was personally involved in six goals. If I take him again, and if I, he plays again, I'm also sending a signal to all the other players in the group, you can do mistakes, doesn't matter, you will come back. 
So I have also to be fair to the other players, to the ones who maybe have performed more. But as I said, he's not here for this time. But it doesn't mean he won't come in November, or it doesn't mean he won't come in March. You know, it's him, up to him, to get better, to, to perform also with his club. I mean, with his club, as you've seen, because you talk about him, about Champions League, but he hasn't played Champions League. Uh, um, Shakhtar played Champions League, but he stayed on the bench uh, for the Champions League. So he's also, for him, don't forget, it's his first year where he's abroad. He's playing in other countries, he's playing other competition uh, on a different level, and he, you also need the time to digest all these things. In, in, in a couple of months, he went from Sabotalo to the, to, the, to the national team and to Shakhtar Donetsk playing Champions League. That there are a lot of change. And of course, I trust him. He's going to come back for sure in a near or further future because he has the qualities for it. But at some point, as I said, if you don't perform, what can I say to the other players after? You know, when you... The way we did perform last year, and especially in Nations League, gave us the right um, to have a playoff, to qualify, to try to qualify for the European Championship. And of course, it became, um, it became our main goal, because um, for us, for Georgia, um, I would say it's the, the, maybe the easiest way to try to qualify, the shorter way. And, and for me, I'm quite clear. Um, of course, we have qualifications now, uh, normal qualifications, um, with very, very strong teams. Uh, I mean, Scotland, Spain, Norway, they have top players playing in top leagues all the time. Every weekend, they're playing Champions League all the time. And uh, of course, for us, it's a, it's a big challenge uh, to play against this kind of team. But that's how we are going to get better facing these kind of teams, facing these kind of problems. Um, and, um, and of course, because March is something very important, um, we had the time to see new players. Uh, and Gelashvili is uh, part of it. Uh, Gelashvili um, is coming with us this time. First of all, because he did perform well with the under-21. I think he was very stable uh, in the centre back, and uh, now also he's, uh, he's playing in Spezia in uh, in Italy. Okay, even if it's second league, it's still Italy and it's still a high level, and uh, and I'm sure he's going to learn a lot there. And I wanted uh, to give him a chance to show us also what he can bring to the national team. Um, so that's the reason why he's here, um, and I'm very. Looking forward to, to try him uh, in his uh, natural position of, uh, of a centre back. And uh, you were talking about, yes, uh, Thailand and Cyprus. Of course, they are two important matches because they are matches that have to give us the confidence and, um, and securities um, for the next, uh, for November and for March. So, of course, they are important. Uh, even if Thailand is a friendly match. It has the same, for me, it's as much as important as uh, the match against uh, Cyprus. Georgia, in the last three years, is, in the whole Europe, one of the best teams regarding how many new players came in the national team in the last three years. We have had so many young players coming in the national team. So many new players coming for the national team in the last three years. So it means that my door is always open. If you perform with your club, if you have something, then you will come to the national team and you will show it. And if you're not here, it means I judge that you can't help us. <laughs> Training is an area of one of the twenty six November. That found a bolo, Samita Machine, Thailand, 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 